Kyle Zanoni played for the Milwaukee men's soccer team from 2002 through 2005, leading the team to one of its most successful four-year runs in program history. The Panthers went 63, 17, and 10 overall, including a remarkable 23, 3, and 2 mark in Horizon League play that resulted in three regular season titles and one runner-up finish. More impressively, Zanoni not only helped lead the squad to four consecutive NCAA tournament appearances in his time, but in each campaign, the Panthers also advanced to the second round of the postseason. A team captain as a senior, he appeared in 83 career games, making 59 starts. He tallied 28 points from his spot in the midfield, scoring 10 goals while adding 8 assists on 71 career shots. Memorable moments included netting the game winner to give Milwaukee the Chancellor's Cup title against Green Bay in 2003, the second year in a row he had the winner against the Phoenix. Also, his game-winning goal against Oakland in the first round of the 2002 postseason gave the UWM soccer program a 2-1 victory, its first ever win in the NCAA tournament. Following his UWM career, Zanoni was selected by the Chicago Storm in the second round of the MISL draft and played professionally overseas before beginning his coaching career. First hired as an assistant at his alma mater in 2010, he spent the 2011 season on the Green Bay staff and then made his return to the Panthers in 2012. He was promoted to associate head coach prior to the 2015 campaign. Kyle Zanoni. Well, my first experience with Kyle was actually way back when he was 16 years old, I believe. Uh, he was a player and I was his coach. It was one summer when I was still playing, but I was injured, uh, playing professionally, and, and I was asked to coach a summer PDL team uh, made up of a bunch of guys from the state of Wisconsin. And we had three high school players on the team, and Kyle was one of them. It was tough to get a full commitment from everybody at that age and during that time of the year, but um, Kyle was a guy that was there at every single practice. I think there's uh, not really one experience, but many experiences over the four years. I think his love of the game, his desire to win, was, uh, was outstanding. And he was a pleasure to work with, always worked hard, and uh, I don't think I ever recall him being hurt, or at least not missing a game or a practice. Uh, another characteristic that, uh, that I feel is, is very impressive as far as Kyle goes is uh, his integrity, um, the quality of his work. He takes a lot of pride in everything he does. The last thing I would say is just his passion for the game. Well, I think his dedication to the game, his passion and love for UW-Milwaukee always showed through. And he is uh, an outstanding young man has uh, shown that over the years and has come back as a coach. And I think those are, the, those are some of the qualities that you like to have in someone that will be in the Hall of Fame. I think it was in 2015, it was our second year working together here at uh, UWM. And uh, we made it to the conference tournament. We're in a final, it's at UIC. They're the one seed, we're the two seed. There was like a typhoon that hit the weekend. There was an incredible amount of rain. The field was underwater. And come that uh, Saturday, that Sunday, uh, the day of the final, there was no way that the field was gonna be ready in time to play. We find out that if the, if the, if the game doesn't take place, the number one seed advances to the national tournament. Well, obviously we can't allow that to happen. Uh, I think the game was supposed to kick off at one o'clock. Finally kicked off at seven and uh, making sure that the guys are ready to go, making sure that we did a good job managing the game um, the best that we could, and we, we got a victory, 2-0, and off, off we're going to the, to the national tournament. And I remember saying something uh, to the fact that, uh, hey, if there was any ever doubt on why we do this, just take a look right now, and that was pretty special. He'll get a kick out of this one. I can recall many times after games, I would go outside the locker room where the cooler of Gatorade was sitting, and he would be sitting there on a chair with a cup, just having cup after cup after cup of Gatorade after a game. And I'd say, Kyle, you have to have something else to eat and drink other than Gatorade. Kyle, welcome to the Bud K. Haiti 
Panther Hall of Fame. I would like to congratulate and welcome Kyle Zanoni to the Bud K. Haney Athletics Hall of Fame.